okay, I want to solve one of these uh, problems involving uh, shared work. And I'm going to do the crazy uncle problem. Let's see what it says up here. Working with your crazy uncle, you can split a cord of work, wood, in five hours. Uh, working together, that is, you can split a cord of wood in five hours. Working alone, your uncle can do it in seven hours. So that's the rate at which our uncle works. And I'm going to talk about that quite in detail in a second. Now, the question here is, how long would it take you alone? This is one of these shared work problems, and it's of the harder sort, because normally they give us the rates at which the two pipes or the two people work. Here, we're asked to find the rate at which one of the participants works at. We know, the hard fact we do know, is that our uncle can do the job in seven hours. So my way of thinking about this is to say, okay, well, in one hour, he would do one seventh of the job, in two hours, he would do two sevenths of the job. In x hours, he would do x sevenths of the job. Now, think about this. If I wanted to know how long it would take him to do one job, I'd set up, I could set up an equation like this. And you would obviously solve this for x, and you'd get x is equal to 7, and that makes good sense. In 7 hours, if it takes him 7 hours to do a job, he can do one job. But once you have this captured like that, you, you have all the power in the world. You could say, I want to know how long it takes my uncle at the rate he works at to do a half a job, or a third, or a fifth, or even how long would it take him to do two jobs. And if you solve this, obviously you're going to get x is equal to 14, and that makes sense. Seven hours to do a job, and 14 hours he's going to do two jobs. So let's take that knowledge to the problem here. We know that our uncle works at this rate, and in the next hours he'll do that much of a job. What we don't know, and what we're asked to find, is the rate at which you work. And the only other piece of information we, we have is that when we work together, that's where this addition comes together, we can do the job in five hours. And so the normal way we would set this up, we, we always want to know how long it would take to do one job. In other words, five over five. It takes us five hours to do it together. So we want to know how many hours working together, it will take us to do a whole job. So this is the part that we're in question right now. And so um, to solve this, about this sort of working together problem, um, there's a slight trick here. Now, I'm going to think in terms of just one hour. And in one hour, my uncle could do that much. And in one hour, I could do that much. I don't know what rate I work at. That's what we're asked to find. But in one hour, I will do that much. And in one hour, we won't do a whole job. We will do one-fifth of the job. And as soon as I come to this point right here, I'm done, essentially. All I have to do is solve it. I've captured the setup of the problem. And all I need to do, really, is replace the question mark with an unknown and solve for x. So let's see. I'm going to subtract a seventh from both sides. And um, as you can see, we're going to have to do some work with denominators here. This is going to be 7 35ths minus 5 35ths, which is going to give us 2 35ths. And on the other side, we still have 1 over x. And I just want to show you a quick move here that uh, you can make when you have a fraction equal to a fraction and the denominator has the unknown. You simply take the reciprocal of both sides. And so I take the reciprocal of the left side, I get x over 1. I take the reciprocal of the right side, I get 35 halves. And so what we know here is that x is equal to 17 and a half. And that is the rate that we are asked to find right here of me or you doing the job by ourselves. It would take us 17 and a half hours. Okay, I hope that piece of thinking helps, and good luck with the rest of 6.5.